A fairly recent New York Review of Books uh, piece on George Keenan, you wrote, his career after he left the State Department in 1953 is an object lesson in the pathos of the public intellectual's career once he has tasted power and then lost privileged access. Mm -hmm. He complains to the diary that he has more invitations than he can cope with to give lectures, to attend conferences, to contribute chapters to books, but none of it matters because real positions of power, of power are denied to him. After the president had bestowed the Medal of Freedom, after the Senate on Foreign Relations Committee had twice stood and applauded the tour de force of his testimony, he was still seeing himself as a failure, the most mm -hmm. elaborately honored non-political and non-governmental personage in the country, yet totally <laughs> without influence where it counts. I wonder to what extent this is familiar to you. My experience of power was very brief and my looking at other people's experience of power, your, your time around the flame can be very, very brief, and you can be burned by the flame as well as warmed by it. I would feel ridiculous about my life if I defined my life as a failure because I didn't get my hands on those leaders, or that my encounter with the flame of power to change the metaphor was so brief. I, the, the stuff that gives me enormous pleasure is when someone picks up an old book that I wrote 30 years ago and still thinks it's worth rereading. And these are not compensations. This is not me settling for a second best. It's a matter of discovering who the hell you are. I mean, I think we all have to do that. You just have to look yourself in the mirror and decide, what am I good for? What am I good at? Um, and you discover painfully through trial and error and sometimes Failure teaches you much more at success. It actually, the stuff I've done most of my life, which is to write and teach, is actually what I love best and am best at. And I'll never regret having gone into politics, but I, I think as I look back, maybe, maybe I wasn't cut out for it. And would so you, you just have to, you have to be candid with yourself. Would you have skipped that chapter? I mean, the owl of Minerva takes its flight at dusk, <laughs> so you know, retrospective illumination is wonderful. Yeah. Would you? Would you have? Oh, I do it again. I do it again. again. I, I do it again in a heartbeat. But this time, I'd win. <laughs> um, 